Okay, there's, that's the strategy. The high-tech drugs that they use now are high-tech immune suppressants. They're still the same mechanism, just like prednisone. They shut down the immune system. Doctors in their infinite wisdom believe, uh, inf infinite wisdom believe that if you suppress immunity, you'll be better off. Now, a, a kindergarten child will tell you that's stupidity. You never suppress the immune system. That's like a country saying, well, if, we, uh, if we're being attacked by another country and we tell the, our, our defense department to stand down, the war will be over. That's the same logic. You don't suppress the immune system if you want to get better. You strengthen the immune system. You make it stronger. You potentize it, not suppress it. But what you got to do, first and foremost, in addition to strengthening your immune system, which you always want to do, you have to remove the offending agent. Multiple sclerosis and all autoimmune diseases are the sign that something is getting into the blood that shouldn't be. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, you with me so far? Yes. Okay, so this is why everybody who, have, who has MS or who has an autoimmune disease of any kind will notice, if they pay attention, sometimes it goes under the radar, but if they pay attention, they'll notice they also have some kind of digestive health issues. All right? You with me so far, George? Yes, I am. And usually they're long-standing. By the time the autoimmune, by the time autoimmune symptoms kick in, the digestive symptomology has been going on for a long time and typically under the radar. Do a food diary first and foremost. If you want quick relief from your symptoms, fast. Go to WebMD, which is no fan of alternative or nutritional medicine, of course, WebMD, and look up MS and fasting. And they'll say right on the website, Multiple uh, fasting reduces the symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Well, why? Because when you eat, inflammation goes up. And when inflammation goes up, immune symptoms show up. So something as simple as fasting can uh, reduce your symptoms, can uh, dramatically reduce your symptoms. But caloric restriction, you can't fast. Obviously, you have to eat. You can't fast forever. So caloric restriction, especially from sugar. Do a food diary and look for particular foods that are problematic, that cause digestive issues, or cause a, a, a flare-up in your inflammatory symptoms, in your MS symptoms, and those are foods you need to eliminate. In conjunction, get on the ultimate enzymes. Use them with all your meals. In fact, you might even want to use them in the, on an empty stomach in between meals. Make sure you're using the BioLumin Nightly Essence, again, on an empty stomach. I'm sorry, uh, you, you can take them with meals, but you can also take them on an empty stomach as well. There's an enzyme in the BioLumin Nightly Essence called natokinase, which is particularly helpful for the blood. Three in the morning, three at night on your um, BioLumin Nightly Essence. I would also be using the Fucoid Z, three in the morning and three at night. Make sure you're doing the Healthy Start Pack. If you want to throw in some additional nutrients, take extra vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Take extra zinc, picolinate, second word is important, picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, 50 milligrams a day. I'll be using the Ultimate Selenium, 600 micrograms a day, and I'd probably throw in some vitamin E, 400 international units a day, mixed to cofferols, and then you might want to also toss in some alpha lipoic acid, 400 or 500, uh, four or 500 milligrams a day, and NAC, a couple hundred milligrams a day. Anything you could do to support sugar metabolism will help. B vitamins, beyond tangy tangerine, chromium and vanadium, that list is by no means comprehensive. There's lots of other things you need. Vitamin D, by the way, is also very important for MS. There's a relationship between vitamin D deficiency and multiple sclerosis. Vitamin D is one of the most important of the immune boosting vitamins. And of course, good old sunshine is the best way to get your vitamin D. And good old sunshine is one of the best ways to reduce inflammatory symptoms associated with all autoimmunity, including multiple sclerosis. Again, that's not comprehensive. There's many more things that you might want to consider, but that's a great start. Anything else, my friend? That's it. Thank you so much. George, take, take care. Have a beautiful day, and I hope that, hope that helps. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to Helena. Is this Helena, Montana? On in Helena, Montana? I guess. Is this on? On? Oh, hi, Ben. Hi, on. Are you in Helena, Montana? Is that what that says? No, or is I'm your name Helena? Helena. I'm in We're, Salinas. Oh, you're California. in Salinas. Ah, Salinas. Okay. What's up, Vaughn? How you doing? I'm doing well. Hanging in there. Okay. Uh, my All question right. is about cholesterol. Okay. Uh, what, uh, how does the, uh, let's see, the... Lowering bad it? Cholesterol, the best bad cholesterol, is it, if it's really high, what... Uh, no, don't ever say bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. That's oh. the realm of nincompoops, good okay. cholesterol, or people who are talking to you like you're a nincompoop. That's childish. Cholesterol is just cholesterol. There's no good and there's no bad cholesterol. This is just a marketing phrase. 
The fact is, is that cholesterol is the single most, the single most important biomolecule in your body. Now, it's, it, there may be arguments. I, I don't know how anybody could argue that. It's, it's vital, all of it. Some cholesterol gets stored, they call that good. Some cholesterol gets used, they call that bad. That's what good and bad is. But it's, from, a, from a chemical standpoint, there's no such thing. So LDL is what? It, low density, it's, it's low dense, it's light, it floats. And that's the stuff they supposedly they say is bad, but it's very important for the immune system. It's also used to make cells. So bodybuilders will have higher LDL. When you're recovering from surgery, you'll have higher LDL because your body's using it. Okay. But the logic is, is that the more you're using, the more it's floating around in the blood, the more problems you're going to have. It's bad logic. Here's how you lower cholesterol. Lower your sugar and work on the triangle. There's a very important connection between the thyroid and almost everybody who's got high cholesterol has low thyroid, hypothyroidism, because that's part of the triangle. So what you do is you do the same thing you do for all other health challenges, focus on sugar though, because when bo the body, cholesterol is a building substance. Cholesterol is used to build things, to build muscle, muscle cells, to build cells. It's a prime building element in the body. So when we eat lots of sugar, the body says, oh, we must be in building mode because that's typically for thousands of years, that's when we had sugar, we were in building mode. It was the summertime. Over the last couple hundred years, we get sugar all year round. This is new to the body. The body's not used to that. When it sees sugar, it thinks building. Unfortunately, these days, we're getting sugar and we're not building. So the cholesterol is just floating around. It's not going to be used anywhere. So we got to restrict our sugar and improve the body's ability to handle sugar. If you just take niacin, all right, and I don't like this, as I said in the beginning of the program, I'm not a big believer in just take this for that. But if you want to demonstrate for yourself the power of nutrition for lowering blood cholesterol and for improving all, many of the markers of poor health, just get on time to release niacin. Now, again, I'm not saying that you want to only use niacin. I'm just saying for demonstration purposes, Get on time release niacin, 250 milligrams or so a day, and watch what happens. Do it for a month. Watch what happens to your blood sugar and your blood fats. You still need your bees. You still need your healthy start back. You still need to work on the triangle of disease, but this will be a, indicative, a, a illustrative of how powerful nutrition can be when it comes to a, readjusting health markers. You still need everything else, though. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. 844-236-6010. Uh, I'm sorry, 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 is our number, is the number for the Brightside Ben phone team. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team or purchase any, any Longevity products, and if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.